only 39 light years from Earth, right next door, cosmically speaking. There's a solar system with seven Earth-sized rocky planets. The system is called TRAPPIST-1. All of its seven planets are intriguing, and three of them orbit in their star's habitable zone, where temperatures could allow liquid water to exist on them. But can they really host life? We are about to find that out with the help of NASA's space observatory, James Webb, that will finally reveal the mystery behind the existence of life on another planet. So, let's talk about it. Welcome to Cosmos Lab, your one station for all the news from space. Join us in today's video to find out about signs of life discovered by James Webb Telescope on TRAPPIST-1. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, is poised to revolutionize our understanding of exoplanets in its first year. It'll spend a significant chunk of time studying a mysterious single star system. According to the JWST Science Policy Group, over the next year, JWST will spend a full quarter of its time studying exoplanets and 8.2% of its exoplanet observations starting at the distant star TRAPPIST-1. Claims are flying about discovering everything from thermal emission, signatures of water, and even signs of life on the planets orbiting TRAPPIST-1. Scientists leading the observations of this unique planetary system with JWST will help us understand what mysteries their observations will help unlock why so much time has been devoted to TRAPPIST-1, and what this tiny system can teach us about rocky planets and potentially life in the universe. So we will begin with the very basic question. What is TRAPPIST-1? TRAPPIST-1 is an ultra-cool M dwarf, the smallest class of star, discovered in 2016 and 2017 by the Transiting Planets and Planetismals Small Telescope, or TRAPPIST. Seven rocky planets, TRAPPIST-1b, C, D, E, F, G, and H, closely orbit their diminutive host star. There are some qualities that make TRAPPIST-1 particularly appealing to researchers. It's relatively nearby, with a temperature of about 2,400 degrees Celsius, and with a mass and radius many times smaller than the Sun. All seven TRAPPIST planets orbit their host very closely. Even the most distant, TRAPPIST-1h, orbits at only 0.062 astronomical units, or AU, six times closer than Mercury is to the Sun. They block out a larger fraction of TRAPPIST-1's light than more widely separated planets. TRAPPIST-1's radius is only 12% that of the Sun, so it's just a little bigger than Jupiter, explained Olivia Tim, PhD student at the Université de Montréal and principal investigator of a JWST program surveying four of the seven TRAPPIST-1 planets. This is a plus because for a given planet radius, the transit signal is easier to detect for a smaller star. Now, because TRAPPIST-1 is so cool, the habitable zone where liquid water could condense on an Earth-like planet's surface encompasses the close-in orbits of planets D, E, F, and G. This means that if these planets are similar to our own, they could have oceans of water. Therefore, Testing the properties of planets in the habitable zone can help astronomers understand how different conditions affect habitability. The strength of solar winds, the density of the planet, the prevalence of large moons, the orientation of the planet's orbit, and the planet's rotation could all be key factors for habitability. A simple criterion like the habitable zone could prove to be a good rule of thumb or more trouble than it's worth. This system provides an opportunity to test the concept of the habitable zone outside of the solar system, said Jacob Lustig-Jager, postdoctoral fellow at the Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory and co-investigator of a JWST program that will observe TRAPPIST-1h, among other rocky planets. TRAPPIST-1 is so different from the Sun, and the planets orbit so close to it that it's likely that there will be many surprises in our study of this system, and our efforts to understand these surprises will push forward the boundaries of planetary science. 
Now, in order for a planet to host life, its atmosphere is also important. But what is it like in TRAPPIST-1? A major theme of JWST's upcoming TRAPPIST-1 observations is atmosphere reconnaissance, testing whether an atmosphere even exists around the TRAPPIST-1 planets. Having an atmosphere is a prerequisite for life as we know it, and atmospheres can carry molecules called biosignatures. These observational markers of molecules act as signposts toward life. In recent years, astronomers spent significant telescope time to try and detect atmospheres on Earth-sized exoplanets, said Daniel Cole, assistant professor at Peking University and co-investigator of a JWST program studying TRAPPIST-1c. Unfortunately, these efforts couldn't tell whether the TRAPPIST-1 planets have very thick and cloudy atmospheres or no atmosphere whatsoever. Since its discovery in 2017, scientists have used the Hubble Space Telescope to attempt to detect atmospheres around all seven of the TRAPPIST-1 planets. They were able to say for certain that the small planets did not have large, puffy, hydrogen-rich atmospheres, but they were unable to convincingly detect smaller, thinner atmospheres like our own. All that said, JWST can detect subtleties that Hubble can't. For one thing, it has a much larger mirror than Hubble, three times the diameter and about six times the collecting area. It also operates in the mid-infrared, where cool stars like TRAPPIST-1 emit their light. JWST is also on a more stable orbit, rather than whipping around the Earth once every 97 minutes like Hubble. JWST sits out at L2, a stable point in space where Earth's gravitational influence cancels out the Sun's tug. That allows JWST to continuously view its targets for hours at a time, important for transit events. So, in JWST's first year, astronomers will check each planet in the TRAPPIST-1 system for signs of an atmosphere. Our goal, said Lim, is to tell whether the planets TRAPPIST-1b, c, g, and h have an atmosphere or not. And to do that, we will try to detect features of molecules such as carbon dioxide, water, and ozone in the transit spectra of those planets. Therefore, detecting atmospheres around the TRAPPIST-1 planets would have major implications for the study of exoplanets. Some astronomers speculate that rocky planets so close to their host stars might have their atmospheres removed by solar flares. The properties of these atmospheres might be dramatically altered by tidal locking, a gravitational process affecting close-in planets that keep one hemisphere of the planet always facing the star. In addition, geological and biological processes can cycle carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen through rocky planets' atmospheres, leading to different compositions depending on the prevalence of oceans, plate tectonics, and even life. But studying all these fascinating topics requires detecting an atmosphere first. And with that, we have come to the end of our video. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share with us in the comment section below. If you like the content, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Until next time, have a great day and thank you for watching.